Twin Blaze here, back in another video. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted, and I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I've been having troubles with some stuff, and I've been trying to get some uh, videos out for you guys. And I want these videos to be the best, best ones you're going to get. Um, so, we're going to be doing this. We have a few upcoming Vibe Series games, and then when I finish the Vibe Series, and it's probably going to keep going on for a long time, I mean, we're just going to be adding to it. Um... We're going to move on to FPS and just more like Roblox tutorials in general. So I'll be working on that. Um, but yeah, so before we start this video, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me, you guys. And if you do, uh, it feels awesome. And also turn on that post notification so you know when I post new videos. Um, but yeah, and while you're at it, join the Discord. It's in the description too. So uh, that's a good thing. And if you want to join the group, they're all good things. So feel free to do any of those. Thank you, guys. Okay, so... Um, in this video, we can be talking about global leaderboard and a time zone door. I just called it time zone or minute required door, I guess you could say. Um, these are like two tiny things, so this video ain't going to be that long. Um, but then in the next video, we are going to be talking about um, AFK, overhead GUI, and a cache GUI um, with the gear shop at the moment. Uh, I've been working so hard to get it, guys, and I mean like really hard. I've been having so many glitches and bugs and all this jazz. It's taken me a while, so I've tried my best. But, um, yeah. So, what you're going to do is go into the description, look for the models, and grab the link of the model. And when you get the link, it should just be like this. Um, feel free to grab that. Click it. Claim it. You're all good. Go into Roblox Studio. Go into Toolbox. Go into your inventory. Click that up there. And you'll get your thing. Now, once you get it, it's going to spawn in. It's going to be like these. And there's two things to look at. Um, we're going to look at the right side first. And look how easy it is and simple. Um, what I kind of implemented it in mine was this theater room. Um, so, yeah, theater area, 500 minutes. And this is kind of like Vibe Bin They all got the same thing. So in the VIP door, I call it VIP. It's kind of the same thing. I have a surface UI that you can change if you want to just change in general. Um, you can add a frame or in general, you can just change the text or right down here. Go into text label. And go in here, you can say 1,000. And we'll change it to 1,000 here. Minutes required like that um, and how the store works is they touch it and it teleports to the other side it isn't a can collide type of thing because that can allow players to go through it too so this is an easier way of doing it now so um, all you gotta do is change like two things um, points this is where you're gonna change your points so right here minutes um, you just change that to a thousand so we wanted to change it to a thousand so we're gonna change it to a thousand now we're gonna go to on touched and this is where it talks about the points. So it's going to grab points right here. But there's a few things with people who have different setups and whatever. So leader stats, there's leader stats, and then there's just value.player. Now, I made a new leader stat. We're going to talk about it later. Um, I'll give you a little demo of it. But in here, you're going to look at these two things. Okay, so this is cash. The parent is player. But for minutes, it's leader stats. So if you do have one of these and you look for the leader stats, go look for the name. So we have minutes right here. And we'll go back into the door and look at minutes. So all you do have to change, by the way, is right here. You just got to change player.leaderstats and minutes of value. That's it. So either change minutes to – if you have this for my vibe game, you don't need to touch anything. You can just change the points. But if you have any other kind of name – you change this right here to minutes to cash to points. I see some people have points. So then you change that to points. Or um, if you have minutes.name equals right here points, then you're good to leave this as minutes. Uh, sort of. It's kind of weird. But if you know if it doesn't work too, just keep on testing till you get it. Now, if I were to do cash right here, it's parent.cash.player. So the parent is player. You just do player.cash.value. You don't need leader stats. Kind of simple. So that's all I got to tell you for the door. Um, we're actually going to test it. Uh, I think I can actually, let's just test it. Might as well. Cause I think, uh, since my data store servers is on for my game, I just have the same data store. So we're going to check real quick. Uh, I should at least, and I hope my audio isn't on cause we don't need that. Oh, and it has the thing working. Okay. So yeah. So look right here. Boop. There you go. And there is a little bit of glitching. Oh, <laughs> if they run through it too fast. So that's the other thing. But it should work, so don't worry about that. But um, yeah, okay, so that's the simple part. That's the door. The leaderboard, very simple too. I didn't make this actually. Someone else did. Um, 
But uh, in the meantime, that's pretty much it. So here's what it looks like. If you want to change the part color, so this like background, you can change that right the brick color that works. If you want to change this, um, you're gonna go up to I think heading, yeah, bar heading, and you just change the background color right here to anything you want. Oh well, we have white right here. That's weird. I've never seen this before. Um. Oh, I think it's an image label, so I don't know if you can. Oh, right here, image color. And you can change that right there. So that pretty much works. Um, and then all you got to do is go into this script. And give me one second. Sorry about the disruption. So, yeah. All you got to go in here is the script. And we're going to look at a few things. There's max items, min display value, uh, max value display, and update every second. So all you got to change, again, like I said, super simple, is this name. If you want, if you have a different name, so points, cash, time change that right here at the minute if you do have my own mine one from the series you don't need to touch anything um max items is like the player list how many people are going to be displayed so we're going to have 100 players displayed you can change that to 50 like anything and then there's min value display there's max value display and then there's update every whatever so if you wanted to update every minute go ahead i just kept it at that because that's pretty easy and what it's basically doing is it's getting the player, the name, their stats, and putting it on there. Um, I'm going to make, now this is one thing, I'm going to make, so see how if one, two, or three, as in the top leaderboard, um, I'm actually thinking about making a overhead UI for the people who are the top minutes. At the moment, I actually worked on getting top, uh, what's it called, top donator. So if you want top minutes, then we're good to add that. So we'll work on that in another video. Now, um, yeah, I think that's it for you guys. Um, I really wouldn't recommend touching the board like the design. If you want, you can. There's really no reason. It looks pretty good itself. Um, but yeah, you guys, I think that's it. Uh, I might give you a sneak peek. I'll make. You, I'll give you a sneak peek right now how this gear shop looking. I kind of decided to go off vibe of NYC like always, um, and make some cool things. But at the moment, it's pretty sick. Works really well. But yeah, in the next video, we are going to work on the overhead UI for AFK. By that, I mean right here. We're going to click out. And boom, pops up AFK. Pretty sick, you guys. It's a lot of cool games have it. So this is the gear shop. I can, like you see, I can literally copy by them. I see because we got the thing right there. And this, and you step. Boom. Pretty sick, you guys. I hope you like it. Um, a lot of people are going to like it. And the reason why I have the gear shop and these cash is because why grab it from your minutes when you can do cash, get more people to buy stuff, you know, I mean, just for fun, either way too. But yeah, that's my point of this. So I thought it'd be really cool to do. Um, and in the gear shop, we're going to try our best. I'm going to try and make it so there's like rotating tools and kind of like a vibe and receive, but either way. And you see, you can add your own animations. <laughs> my guy's dancing right there. So it's pretty sick, you guys. I, I think, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and yeah, these series are going to go on for a while. So please continue to watch my series and drop a sub if you haven't already. Uh, join the group, join the Discord, all that jazz. And I think I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm probably gonna be streaming tonight, so feel free to watch that if you want. And um, yeah, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>